What is up guys, it is Halloween Hunters here, and today we are going to be building a project that I've been wanting to do for years, that I'm finally going to take on, and that is build a double neck Gibson Les Paul for Xbox 360. So we got two working Guitar Hero guitars for 360. Um, I don't really play Guitar Hero on Xbox anymore, I play Clone Hero on the computer, so... I use my uh, my Explorer for that. So these have just been sitting. Got these at the thrift store a while back for maybe 10 bucks a piece or something. And uh, they both work good. So we're going to cut them in half, basically. Put them together. Um, and wire them both together. And I'm going to show you guys step by step of how I do this. Um, you can do it different ways. But um, basically, you're just going to have to figure out where I want to cut them, where I want to mount them together, uh, which parts I'm keeping. Uh, we're probably going to get rid of these buttons here and just have the one bar whammy on the bottom and buttons there. And that's about it. But we're going to wire them together so you can use those frets and this strum or those frets and this strum or this strum and those frets, those frets and this strum. No matter what you're using, it'll all work as one guitar. And the wiring for that should be pretty simple. Um, the only other thing I'm hoping is that it works well with the batteries. I've only made double neck guitars with corded guitars. This is going to be my first double neck cordless. So let's uh, tear these things apart, figure out where we're going to cut them, and, and we'll go from there. All right, so the first step is the easiest. You just take your two necks off. Um, but next... I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to do it, and I'm thinking this might be the best. So we're going to have that kind of fade, that line fade into that line like that. That'll look good. This will all be filled, and we're going to have to cut the guitars here in a straight line to match so that they can be mounted nice and safely and securely. And then I'm debating how I want to do the bottom. There's going to be that little bit of a thing right there, which is normal on a double neck like SG. Um, we'll see how I like it once the guitars are put together, but now we have to take our pit guards off. These gu guitars have never been opened because there's a screw underneath that warranty if void if removed. Your last screw is under there, and I want to say these are T6 security screw. So you're going to need to take all those out, take your pit guard or your face plate off. The guitar should come apart, and then it should be only Phillips heads to take everything out on the inside. Okay, so here's what we got so far of our double neck. So far, it's looking pretty good. Um, so what I did was I laid this on top like that, and I traced it with a Sharpie. And then I cut it out with a Dremel. As you see, it's not perfect. This guitar, like I said, is going to take a lot of body work to get perfect. But both guitars are hollowed out. Um, I put all the screws back. Now we have to cut out the side here. That way we'll be able to run the wires through to each guitar. Also, as you see, it doesn't fit perfectly up top yet while being straight. Like straight's about right there. I need to trim a little bit more here and here, so it'll slide in a little closer and fit where I cut up top. <clears throat> and then we could start connecting the front half and the back half and start doing some Bondo work. So let's go connect them. Alrighty, so now, you know, we got our front here not put together yet. I'm gonna start with the back. And I'm using this block of wood as a straight edge to line up the two tops, make sure they're straight and square. And then I'm going to add a little something here and glue. And then I'm going to put a crap ton of glue and some other flat pieces to keep them together. Once these are kind of held together, then I can do the front. And once they're kind of temporarily held in one piece, how I like, then we can start connecting them more permanently. Um, 
Not sure exactly how I want to do it yet. Right now I'm going to use a glue gun and some wood, I think, or maybe some little pieces of metal or plastic to connect them. <clears throat> this one, same thing. I cut out a piece of the side. That way I have somewhere to connect the two guitars. So luckily hot glue can be temporary or permanent depending how you use it. So we're gonna use it both ways here. Um, on the inside for more of a permanent solution and on the outside of the top, I'm gonna use it for a temporary to hold while I work underneath for a more structural, more solid piece. And you know, once the guitars are actually done and they're actually formed with the bondo work and everything, then they, they won't fall apart. <clears throat> but for right now, this is what we're gonna have to do. And we're just gonna keep going with it. I'll see what we do next. Alrighty. <clears throat> so the back is glued together with a little bit of support, nothing crazy. And I put the fronts back on for leveling. And now I'm going to fill all this with Bondo. I'm going to use some body filler here for cars. Um, another good way you could probably do this is do some fiberglass. Um, I don't have any right now, so I'm not going to go out and buy any. But uh, fiberglass would be a good way to connect these also. You could uh, put the sealer there and lay a piece on and then coat that and do about three, four layers. And that would be a good... Um, good solid coat and connection <clears throat> I don't have any and I don't want to go spend money on a whole bond or a fiberglass kit for this right now but that would be a really good way to do it for you guys at home if you'd like so if you'd like to go that route you could also do fiberglass sheets first and then bondo over that so I'm going to start mixing my bondo and start filling this thing up <clears throat> all right so I put the first coat it's going to need lots of coats uh at least two. Once this hardens, as you see, some of it's kind of dipping into the crack. So once it hardens, um, we can sand it down and add a second little layer to smooth it out. <clears throat> and then we can work on the front half of the guitar and filling all our gaps, like right here, and this big hole we have to fill, and that hole we have to fill. So once this dries, we'll start sanding it and we'll move on to the, first, uh, the front half. Alrighty, <clears throat> first sanding is done. As you see, did a pretty good job of smoothing that out, making this two guitars slowly turn into one. Like I said, still a lot of uh, work to do, but put that little piece right there. Um, Slowly getting there. That's a real good start. I love Bondo. Alrighty. Move this to the side. Okay. Now that the back is Bondoed, it's first coat. We will do one more coat on the back. One more light coat. Plus we gotta fill the holes like I said. And that hole, still a lot of Bondo to do, but <clears throat> it's good to get that first start. I glued the front pieces together, just real one little line right here. Now we can take these apart. Alrighty, so after some thinking, I decided to do this with the face plates on. And they are going to become a permanent part of the guitar now. Uh, the only real reason for these face plates is for style. And so I was debating just bondoing the whole thing or doing the plates and doing some bondo work. Also filling in this whammy, filling in these buttons. I think I might fill in these buttons also. That way you just have your top toggles and your buttons and whammy here, kind of like more realistic to a double neck. So no, I didn't use the Aerosmith um, face plate because that is a limited edition. I didn't want to ruin it, so. I just had I had another black um, faceplate here, so cut that one to match, and now I'm gonna bondo this and start bondoing some other little spots, and then we can keep going from there. It's just gonna be a lot of bondo work, you guys. Um, this isn't really that big of a deal. I do want to just fill it, you know, 
and make it look good. I'm not going to go straight across because double necks do actually naturally have that kind of two guitar put together look um, at the bottom there. But this we're going to form, see how I, I tried to follow that line. So it's one smooth line like that. So that's going to look nice. We're going to have to fill that in. Fill in this whole circle right here, which I'll probably use um, some plastic. This was right here. So I'll probably cut out a piece to go in there and then glue it in and then bondo over it and then maybe fill the inside with some foam or something. I don't know yet. Alrighty. First layer of bondo on the top. Now I like to lay my bondo on nice and thick and then work it with the sander um, first using electric sander to get it most of the, the thickness away. And then once I get close to where I want it, then I go by hand. Um, another thing, when we go to paint this, <clears throat> we are going to sand the whole thing. Sanding plastic is kind of a tough job. You want to sand it very lightly. You don't want deep grooves. So we're gonna use a very light, uh, high grade grit sandpaper. We're going to use also a very good primer. <clears throat> One thing I forgot to do on both sides before I bondoed is I should have sanded it down. That's one part you want to do with a high grit sandpaper uh, so the bondo will uh, have something to stick to better. Um, I did the back without sanding first and then I was like, okay, when I do the front, I got to make sure I sand. I forgot to do it again. I was too excited, mixed my bondo and in there now so it'll still stick it'll just stick better if it has a little bit more grooves to uh to grip so use like a i don't know an 80 100 150 grit sandpaper and then put your bondo on or if you're using your um your other stuff instead it's still not dry yet but it's getting there it's almost dry for the most part, it dries pretty quick. I've been putting a little bit more hardener than you normally should, but I just wanted to make sure it's really hard. And notice how it's like this pinkish. It's not like a mixed color. Mix your Bondo very well. That goes for any application, cars, metal, wood. <clears throat> Always got to make sure you mix your Bondo up. You'll see here on my stick, that gray is what the Bondo looks like before you put the hardener. When you're done, you want it to be one solid color and then uh, spread it in your application. Uh, we're gonna let it get, you wanna get, make sure it's really hard and solid first before you start sanding or else it'll still be a little bit gummy and move around and just peel off. So make sure it hardens first before you start sanding and then we'll start sanding and then I'll figure out which holes I wanna cover. Uh, I didn't wanna do that yet. I still wanna debate how I'm gonna do this. But once this side's done being sanded and the back is done, then I'll take this off and we'll look underneath and see how exactly I want to do all the wiring, where things are going to be set up in the guitar. And that will kind of determine which holes I decide to cover. But more than likely the ones I already set. Alrighty, so we went from that big chunk of Bondo to this nice thinner little spot. As you see, it still has like a bit of a lip on the Bondo here, so I'm going to have to do a second layer. But it actually did pretty well on this half. Um, it bonded pretty well with this half. This half needs another coat. I went ahead and did a light sanding of the rest of the plastic. It needs a lot more sanding, obviously. I just did a real quick one. And up here it did pretty well, actually. Some pitting, but like I said, it's only the first coat. This is just kind of the coat that's going to help bond everything together. And I let some kind of fall in there to help connect the sides. And right here also, we do need there fill that still. <clears throat> so I'm going to pull them apart, take a look, but so far I'm liking it. It's pretty equal. I wanted these guitars to be side by side as perfect as possible. Um, what sucks is on a normal double neck is you have your 12 string and your 6 string and your 12 string guitar normally has a taller neck but I don't want to go through all that trouble. That would be a pain in the butt to what I'd probably do if I were to do that. Would I, I'd shorten this neck, which I've done before on an SG. It was a pain in the ass. I don't recommend doing it because it was really hard. 
So I'm not gonna do that on this one. I just want the basses to look as perfect as possible as one guitar, and we'll just snap in our necks afterwards. So really, it's just all work here. Lots of electrical work. We're gonna need the solder cut and splice a lot of wires to make both these guitars work together. But I think it'll be pretty awesome. So I'm just gonna keep working on this and making this two guitars into one. All right, the cover layer is on. It looks like hell, but there's a piece of plastic I cut out, some wood chunks, hot glue, all kinds of shit. <laughs> just I put in there just to make it flat enough to hold the Bondo. And I put it on nice and thick. Also put more here and in that corner there. Gonna let it dry, get nice and hard, and then we'll sand that down and see how we're looking. Then we can uh, sand the whole thing down. I'll give it like a quick coat of paint. Um, that way we can see where our low spots are and see if we need to add any more Bondo. I like to add like just a little coat over the Bondo area to see what's connected, what's not, because if it's not connected right, you'll see it with the paint. So there's that patch. Nice and smooth, good transition. I'm gonna do a nice light sanding with a 400 grit by hand and get it all smoothed out one more time. I think I'm going to do Bondo in that whole area and these too. But for now, I'm going to finish that. Um, still need to do these, um, but they'd have to be done separate because we still have to be able to take the guitar apart to work on the inside and to paint and everything. And started filling that hole, but I'm done filling Bondo today. And I still need to cover this hole. But the back of Bondo uh, looks pretty good. Needs one more coat, but I'll do that coat when I cover that hole. Um, it's time to do the sides and the bottom. I did the front, but I haven't done the back yet. Gonna have to cover. Uh, maybe I'll just stick the piece right there. Not, not cover that, but... Um... Yeah, it's looking good. These ones are gonna still have their normal plugs. So I'm gonna do some hand sanding, get all this nice scuffed up, make sure the Bondo is smooth, and then I'm gonna clean it with some alcohol, give it a quick coat of paint just to see if there's any spots that need to be Bondoed again. Um, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I cleaned it, and as you can see where there's thicker, grooves from the sanding we have to keep sanding that um i see one little pit right here and a couple there but i cleaned it with alcohol and i'm going to throw a quick coat of paint on it and then what we do after the paint is um we'll sand again once it dries i like using this color it doesn't matter what color you use i'm not going to use black because it is black so it might be a little hard but uh, we're just gonna do a quick coat where our Bondo is. Clean my nozzle so I don't get it. Oh my God, that, we're not using that. <laughs> that paint is really pissing me off. That paint was just doing no good. Okay, here we go. Well, I didn't want to use the black, but we're using the black now, I guess. Because we kind of have to. All right, now for the first time, it looks like a real guitar. <laughs> looks like one guitar. I definitely see some spots we need to clean up. Um, in the light, you can kind of see the groove here. Oh yeah, from this angle, you can kind of see where the Bondo starts. 
and we don't want that. So you're gonna let this dry. I'm gonna keep working on this tomorrow, but um, it's getting there. You definitely, you just, you can see where your Bondo lines up. So now that it's painted, this is all gonna get sanded again tomorrow. More, maybe another layer of Bondo, more sanding until it is perfect. But it's getting there for sure. From this angle, without the way the light hits it, looks like one guitar. All right, guys, so that is the end of day one, I guess. And here's what we got so far. It actually looks really dope. Um, when you don't see all the crappy Bondo. <laughs> but... The necks are perfectly at the same height, and they are nice and equal all the way up, which was very important to me. And that groove right there is very nice and smooth. Not perfect. I will be doing a lot more sanding and bondo to make that more perfect. But that nice curve was really important to me. Same with right there. So... That is going to be it for this video. This is going to be part one. Uh, my videos are really long. I did a lot of talking on this half uh, of the video, this part. So I'll try not to talk as much in the other and just show you guys what's happening. But um, it's pretty dope so far. I'm really happy with it. Needs a lot more work, like I said. A lot more body work, but uh, it's getting there. It's got its shape and it's nice and hard and solid and it's one piece now instead of two guitars. So that's the big important part. Now we just got to do a lot of body work to make it nice and smooth and pretty. And then we can move on to um, paint and electrical. And then we'll be able to get this thing going. So thank you guys for watching this video. Part two will be coming shortly. Um, once I'm able to work on this, I'm going to be a little busy, so I don't know when that's going to come out. But part two will be coming very soon.